How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, boys and girls and people and friends everywhere? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and our engagement today is, is with something utterly, utterly intriguing. I have on this sloping track an array of highly elastic plastic spheres. Highly elastic. First, I call your attention to this fact. They lie in the lowest part of this valley. They are in a configuration of least energy, a matter we explored earlier. Now, there is so much here that we could be engaged for 10 hours, but this will suffice for here and now. First, first, I have made this array just about one foot long. Perhaps it's over, so I make it a foot long. And I'm going to do as follows and make a statement. I'm going to take this one up a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, and let it go. Ho! And right away, instantly, that one felt it. Or I'll take this one up. I say that when I let this one hit here, that one felt it in one fifteen thousandth of a second. Which is pretty fast. And you say to me, how do you know that, Professor? Well, this is the speed with which sound travels in steel, and these have pretty nearly the same coefficient of restitution, the same elastic properties as does steel. So that compressional wave goes in there about 15,000 feet per second, three miles per second, three miles. So it's about one fifteen thousandth of a second. Now, we have settled on that. Our next matter is as follows. When I take this one up the hill a little, I give it some potential energy. I let it down at the instant of collision. It has a mass m and a velocity v, and it has what we call a linear momentum mv. And nature now again behaves in a wonderful way. Nature says that whatever the momentum before collision, so this must be the momentum after. There are some other details that I won't worry you with. So, 1MV, watch over here, 1MV, 1, 1, 2, 2. Now, if there is motion of the others, remember, they all have to go to a lower potential plane. 1, 1, uh, see, they're going, they're going. Things want to run downhill. 2, 2. There they go, downhill. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Three. Three. Downhill. Oh, that's wonderful. Four. How much must go away after? Four before. Four after. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. No. No. Oh, downhill. Here are five. There are three. After collision, we ask how many will go away. Or six. After collision, how many will go away? Or seven. Notice that is behaving according to the laws of nature, seeking a lower potential plane. How many will go away after collision? How many would like to see? Uh, <laughs> notice the drama in all of this. Watch it. I say that one, two, three, four, five, seven will go away. Proof. Watch it now. There it is. And I say five will go away. And I shall see you another day.